hello everyone in this video i am going to talk about how to create this complex fascia in revit and i am going to use the generic line based command for this purpose so now let's start the tutorial first of all open a new template file family file of a generic model before we move towards the generic model line based uh, file we need to create a part a section of fascia in the generic model so for that i have opened this template file and i'm going to use the commands of this extrusion and white sweep to create the design of fascia uh, if you wonder that I'm not using the fascia command in the project file to create this complex design it's because of that such complex designs cannot be created using the simple uh, simple fascia command because it is basically a sweep so we have to in that command we have simply have to provide a profile which is going to run along the roof but if it is not a, if the design is such that it is not a sweep so we have to create that in in the generic model family and then we need to repeat that design using the line based command so in this tutorial i'm going to show that how you can use these uh, template files and commands to create the complex fascia in your project files and add the details you wish in the design so if you can see i have uh, the total width of this de repetitive design is going to be one feet three inches that is important that you should remember which width you are going to use for this design
now this is how the final design looks like this is one section of the fascia which we need to repeat to complete uh, to create a complete design so for that i'm going to open a new family template file of generic model line based If you remember the total width of that one part of the fascia which we have created in the generic model family is 1 feet 6 inches. So I am going to uh, keep, uh, now I am going to keep the length of the line to be 2 feet 6 inches which is basically the double of 1 feet 3 inches load this family of generic model in the generic model line based file and place it here now select this component and then select the array command select last from here and click from here towards this reference plane so now we have two of these uh, uh, components which I have created, placed using the array command so I'm going to add parameter to this array so let's name it number of fascias now select the align command and align this reference plane with this line and lock it and align this reference plane with this line and lock it okay so now open this dialog box and let's add a formula to this number of fascias parameter but remember this parameter should be an instance parameter and not a type parameter and to know the difference between a type and instance parameter I have created a video on that the link is given below in the description box okay so the formula which is going to be placed here is length divided by 1 feet 3 inches 1 feet 3 inches is basically the width of one section of the fascia so if it totally depends on what is the width of one part and then you have to divide the length by that number so now if you increase the length the total length the number of fascias will increase depending on that now let's save this family file and after that open a new project file Here I am going to show how you can place the place the fascias on the roof for that. Uh, create a new roof, any type of pitched roof or flat roof, whatever the design is. Create that roof here and I am going to create a simple pitched roof. It is something like this. Let's change its pitch a little bit. load this uh, generic model line based family in the project file and once it is loaded make sure place on face is selected and then click on this corner towards this corner and the fascia is placed here now let's select this corner towards this corner and the fascia is placed here so if the design of fascia is complex and you want some sort of ornaments or details to be placed on the roofs you can use this method and process to place it so it kind of looks like this
let's adjust this corner a little bit so i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty you can ask me and i hope it really works out in your projects I am back after a long time so I will try to keep posting new videos uh, every week or two or three videos in a week so let's hope I can stick to my schedule and if you like this video give a thumbs up and don't forget to share and subscribe my videos